walking through this life of mine well it's teaching me so many things like how to love and how to lose and how to choose walking through this life we want to hear the song Glory a woman drank all my whiskey. She drank all your whiskey? Yeah. How long ago was that? Fourteen years ago. It's been longer than that. More like sixteen. I've been sober for sixteen years. How many years so how many years sober have you been? Fourteen. Yeah, see? Fourteen in December. Yeah? Yeah. So on the show today we're gonna have a little fun, right? Yeah. We're gonna be talking about some of the things we do to keep our marriage fresh and fun. Yeah. What's some of the things that you can think of we do? Go eat pizza. Go eat pizza? <laughs> yeah. What else? Oh, let's see. I'm, one of the funnest things I like to do is I like every single night when we lay down in bed. We have this ritual, this routine where we lay down and Ted picks on me and I pick on Ted. So there's a lot of tickling, pillow fights. Yeah. What else? Throwing things at each other? Yeah. Yeah. He always gets me every time, because I try. I try. I start it. I always start it. So I always start the fight, right? Yeah. I, but he finishes it. Yeah. And then, of course, we got the cats in between. Huggy and Muppet and Tiger Lily. <laughs> How old is Huggy Bear? Do you know? Huggy Bear? Three or four years old. Four years old. What about Muppy Puppy? Four or five years old. No, <laughs> Muppy Puppy's younger than Huggy Bear. <laughs> three years old. Yeah, three years old. What about Tiggy? She's only a year and a half. But none of the cats are around, so I can't show you. We can't show you, can we? Oh, he, I think he got Muppy Puppy. There's the Muppet. It's a Muppy Puppy. What's Muppy got for a special personality thing? She's independent. She is independent, isn't she? Yeah. No. She loves to be loved, though, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. She's an awful good kitty. She likes to sit her in her window bed. We got a window bed for them. And her and Huggy take it over. Tiger Willie gets to sit there once in a great while. Right, Tiggy? It's a Tiggy bear. So I wanted to make sure we talk a little bit about some of, the, some of the other things we do to have fun that doesn't cost any money. Like in the summertime. Go out and have cookouts. Yeah. Sit at the picnic table. And put the music on. Put the music on. Of course, who's our famous singer? Who's our favorite singer? Tim Brick. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Brick. <laughs> we know. Tim Brick. <laughs> yeah. I'll never forget the time you and Tim went down and had breakfast, or down and had uh, pizza while we were having that talent contest. Yeah. And I mean, you put those two together and they sat there and talked about what? Nashville. Yeah. Country singers. Johnny Grand Cash. Grand Opry. Yeah. John Cash. Paul yeah. Wagner. Yeah. So that kind of inspired Ted a little bit to play some music. So. Um, and other things we like to do fun, we like to borrow our little friend Rio. Yeah. And in the summertime, we like to take a walk down by the river. the bank, the bank at, by the, at the Veterans Park by the Municipal Building. Yeah, down by the river. Yeah. We go down there and have picnics once in a while, or we go down and sit at the bench, you know, just take a walk. We like to walk, don't we? Yeah. In the summertime. Yeah. Yeah. But some of the things that... Um, some of the things that you do that I don't do is like when it, even when the sun is shining, I mean shining. What's Ted do? What do you do? Ride bicycle and walk. No. What do you take with you? I don't know. An umbrella. Umbrella. <laughs> even when there's no sign of rain. <laughs> I guess you're afraid of getting your little nookies up here wet, yeah? Yeah. See, put your head down too. See, he's bald. He is bald. See. Of course, I would have tons of gray hair if I didn't dye my hair, right? Right. Right. And see, Ted's growing a little mustache. Isn't he cute? Yeah. yeah. Ted's my cutie pie. Oh, here comes Muppy Puppy again. What else do we like to do? We like to cook, don't we? We cook and bake cakes, cookies. What do we do that for? Uh, sometimes do it for the vets. Friends of veterans. Donate money for them. Yep. Vets. You do lots of bake sales, but see, the secret of doing bake sales is you get to cheat and eat because <laughs> you, you got to try them to see if they're okay and they're good, and it's for a good cause, right? That's just like doing uh, 
the second Saturday of every month down to the American Legion going down wow. there and having little bake sales and they had that flea market thing down there. Yeah. Yeah. So we got lots of stuff to give them so they can donate, right? Right. Yep. So I just want to show you guys something. See this? You're just so cute. Right. <laughs> This one, you are very wavy. You're just so cute. Yeah, man. So have you decided to come up with any more songs? Not are you going to make any funny ones? No. 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 We like to play Yahtzee and stuff, too, though. Yeah, I'll play Yahtzee next door neighbor. Yeah. Debbie. Debbie, yep. Yeah. Yahtzee. What else do we like to play? Uno. Uno. Rummy. Rummy. Yeah. And we both take, we, we uh, clean house together yeah. where it needs to be cleaned, which is all the time. <laughs> right? Yeah, right. Clean That's house. because we got three cats and I've got a husband. <laughs> right? But he does very good at doing house cleaning, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But what's some of the other things we do to keep our marriage lively? You got any other things we do? I don't know. Hug each other. Yeah. We always hug each other, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. And I gotta tell you, this man right here gives the best back rubs. If you got any arthritis in your neck or in your back, he gives me back rubs all the time, don't you? Yeah. And then once in a while, Ted will get really bad headaches up here. So I know if I rub his head, it's gonna make him feel better. And that's what life's all about, is making people feel better. If you can, you know, do what you can do to help somebody else out. Whether it be your husband, your friend, your brother, your sister, or whatever. Don't be afraid to reach out and touch or to help somebody by touching them and in some way. Um, whether it would be physical touch or, or just a saying hi, how you doing, you know, you look great today or, or whatever. Keeping a positive attitude is something that I've always tried to keep um, in my brain anyway. <laughs> right? Right. You want to tell them what else you, uh, you like to do around here? Ride bicycle. Walk. Where might you go on your bicycle? Stores. Yeah. Corner jog. Yeah. And you went up to the VA the other day to see your dad. Yeah, I rode a bicycle back from the VA. And you like spending time with your brother up in uh, East, East Corner? Goober? Yeah. What a name, Goober, huh? <laughs> Ted Game. Yeah, that's his nickname. <laughs> What's he got you for a nickname? Junior. Oh, JR. that's it? JR. That's the only nickname you got? JR. Oh, that's all? That's all he calls you? Yeah. Okay. All right. What happens when uh, when you have your uh, Christmas party, family Christmas party? Always open up presents. <clears throat> yeah, but the whole family gets together, don't you? Yeah. And this is where I like to say, too, is family is so important for each other, you know? I mean, I know most of you know us, know me and Ted both, and that we both have mental, severe mental illness. And um, so we've learned to cope with a lot of things in our lives, you know. And by being able to open up and share with all of you some of the struggles plus some of the tools that we use in our lives to help us along is something that me and Ted both have always wanted to do. Did you just see that smirk? You just gave a smirk. Do that again. <laughs> it's hard to get him to laugh. That's one thing about Ted. It's really hard to get him to laugh. You can tickle him, he won't laugh, see? You can see, he won't laugh, see? It's going to be one strange thing, you know? Right? Yeah, right. You never know when you're going to laugh. No. Nope. But it's really good when he does laugh, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some of the things that I do to cope with my mental health. Maybe you could talk about some of the things that you do. Yeah. Well, for me, I have um, high anxiety levels, and I have PTSD, and I have uh, a diagnosis of borderline personality, which I have overcome after many years of treatment, many years of self-care, taking care of myself, getting to know myself. Um, so I'm proud of the fact that I have found recovery in my mental illness, along with my addiction to alcohol. Um, so some of the tools that I've always used in my life, for my mental illness anyway, is always trying to turn a negative into a, a positive in some form, some way. You know, like if, if somebody gets in my brain and I insist something bad to me, used to be I used to get pretty upset with myself or whatever. 
So instead of that, I kind of take that little information that they're upset and turn it around and make it not about me, but more about them. What's happening in their life right now to make them that way? Um, maybe they got family trouble. Maybe they're just too busy to stop and talk. You never know what the, what the issue is, but it's a lot of you have to remove the personality. You know, like, you know, this isn't about me. It's something that's happening in their life that uh, creates this, this, uh, this aura, you might say, that you feel when uh, you feel like you're being ditzed or whatever. So that's one of the tools I use. Um, another tool is very good for me is that um, Ted is very comforting when it comes to my anxiety. He'll, he'll say, he'll change the subject totally, but I will not forget it, but he changed the subject. I write it down to deal with it later. In other words, I don't have to deal with this right now. I don't have to, you know, like pressures from bills or pressures from uh, just life in general. You know, for somehow we've, I've learned how to take all that pressure that I feel at that very moment, just for that one moment, take it and then set it aside Go grab Ted, and what do we do? What's that? Well, we have to talk about something different. Talk something different. Or we'll watch something on TV that's funny. Watch something on TV that's funny. Another tool that helps me feel better is taking a shower, uh, making sure I'm eating right, drinking plenty of water. Very, very important. And I know for the past, uh, I don't know, since I was 11, I'm 51 now, so 10 years, I guess. No, more than that. How long? 40 years, Yeah, <laughs> I smoke cigarettes. But I want you guys to know that I have come up with a quit day, which is May 1st, and I'm working very hard on working on that. Um, I've been writing down things that I can do to help me along, like uh, not smoking at certain times or changing the routine. Um, I went out and bought a cigarette. What are those things called? Uh, it's an electronic cigarette, I guess. You plug it in. And, and then you put a cartridge in it, and it's got 20 milligrams, so it takes the place of um, the tobacco, but it also still feels like a cigarette. So I'm working on that. That's a big challenge. Um, and uh, I, one of the other tools that I love to use, too, is, is uh, like I said, turn the negative to a positive, but writing about it. Getting down there and writing about it. And sometimes my writing makes no sense at all, but it does to me, so it doesn't matter. And then um, another thing I like to do is draw. I love to draw. Uh, Most of the cartoon figures, you know, just, you know, uh, uh, little girls usually, because I have five sisters, um, Ted and I, or, or whatever, and just kind of have fun that way in drawing. But those are some of the tools that I use. Now, I'd like Ted to talk a little bit about some of the tools he uses, because, Ted, you have schizophrenia, right? Yeah. So what's some of the tools that you can use when your uh, schizophrenia is active? Mm -hmm. I don't know, take the extra pill. Yeah, you're going to take PRN today. Yeah, take naps, <clears throat> lay down, rest. Yeah. Does it also have to talk about it? Yeah, I'll talk about it. Yeah. And then you just have to do like kind of like a check to make sure that you're, you're okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you have case managers through HRS, so don't I. And roles. Yep. Dr. Alden. Yep. And sometimes we know when it's time for you to have to take a medication change. Yeah. But Ted has become very strong in that when he is, you know, when we notice that he is needing either adding more medication or taking medication away or whatever, um, Dr. Alden Rose and I will talk to him, and he willingly goes to get that taken care of, right? Yeah. Sometimes you have to spend a week or so in the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Up in Springfield. Yeah. But I miss him a lot when that happens, but he does it to take good care of himself so he can also take care of me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's enough of that serious stuff. Now we're going to get into what else, uh, some of the other things that we do to have fun. What's some of our favorite shows? True TV's Dumbest Stuff? Yeah. Dumbest Stuff on TV? Dumbest Drivers. Dumbest Drivers, yeah. That's funny. Dumbest Either one of us drivers. drive. Dumbest partiers. <laughs> yep. W what happened when you tried to get me on a bike? <laughs> it did Fall work. Off. Bloop. Fall off a bicycle. Yeah. But we also love to cook. Barbecues, yeah. cakes, cookies. Of course, that's not too good because then you want to eat them, right? Yeah. So Ted's what I call my my uh, my leftover 
big, right? Yeah. You eat all the leftovers. Anything yeah. left over, you'll eat. Yeah. Right? What's some of the things you're looking forward to in the future to, to do? I don't know. Quit smoking. Yeah, see that? That's the first time I've heard, well, that's not the first time I've heard him, but in recent years, he hasn't had any desire to quit smoking at all. So this is something brand new that maybe you've started mentioning in the yeah. past couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Quit in June. You're going to quit in June? Yeah. I'm quitting in May and you're going to quit in June? Yeah. Give you a little more leeway? Yeah. Yeah. What's some of the things that you think will help you? We're going to start smoking outside. Smoking outside, cutting down, smoking. Yep. Another thing I'm trying to do now, too, is to take a, a pack of cigarettes and say for four hours when we put uh, five cigarettes, four cigarettes, or whatever in there. So I'm only smoking, because we were smoking, what, two packs a day? Yeah. So I've cut down to a pack a day. I'm also going to try not smoking at work or at the studio. Yeah. Yeah. So, what can we do to have fun now? I don't know. Are you going to tell them something about me? No. You're not going to tell them nothing about me? You mean I can pick on you? You ain't going to tell them nothing? You always pick on me. No, I don't. Hey, you don't. No, I don't. Do I? Yeah. Nah. I'm not that kind of girl. I wouldn't pick right. on my husband. Right. No, you pick on me. No, I don't. That's how it works. You pick on me. Yeah. No. You pick on me and then I have to pick back. Right? No. No, yeah. 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 Got a headache? No. No? What are we having for supper? Pork chops. Pork chops. Rice? Yeah. yeah. So you want to hear another tune? You going to play another tune? No. Why? I don't know. Why? Because I ain't. We can play a little something. Okay. We could both try to sing. What do I know that you know? Remember mm. bring me a fire? Let's go burn, 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 a ring of fire. Can I sing? Guess so. <laughs> this is one of the first times he allows me to sing. How did that song go? Burn, 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 and a ring of fire. Down, 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 and a ring of fire. You gotta write a new song too. Who do you want to write a song about? I don't know. How about a song about the kitty cats? Hey, I'll sing a song. I'll sing a, a verse, a, a sentence, and then you have to add a sentence after me. Okay, ready? We live in a high apartment with three cats. Every day. They come to play. And they're happy. Little kitties. Little baby. One's gray. One's black. One's in between. It's huggy bear. Huggy bear. Poor kitty. Poor kitties. I think they're a little spoiled. They are spoiled. They like to play and don't let daddy lay down. <laughs> Your turn. They like to be fed all the time. All the time. They like their treats. Every day. Every day they like treats. Yep, yeah, they do. Yeah. What about toys? Yeah, I can buy them some toys. Well, we could make them some. Remember? Yeah. Make them some. Take them on the street. Long piece of stick or like this or something, tie something around it, and you know, they'll play. They'll have a really good time with that, too. They love that new little window thing, don't they? Yeah. Yep. Muffet laying in the window. How long have we been married there? Fourteen years in June. Fourteen years in June. Well, we've known each other for uh, 16 years. 16 right? years. Yeah. So I met you, me and you were both still drinking. Yeah. Yeah. After we met, I think it was eight months after we met, I quit. Yeah. Drinking. Then we moved in together. Yeah. When we got engaged, was it eight months later? 
drew me a little while later. And then once we got married in 98, yeah, we got married in June, you quit drinking on your birthday in December. Yeah. Yeah. You're just such a different man now, huh? Yeah. You feel better since you're not drinking no more? Yeah, I feel a little bit better. Yeah. Do you think it's going to be the same thing when you quit smoking? Yeah, it should be. Less pain. I quit smoking. And me and you do exercises too, don't we? Yeah, the plates. He lifts weights and I do um, like squats and work through my legs and stuff like that and my arms. and I lift weights in different ways than he does. Yeah. It helps my back. But I tell you, one thing that Ted does, again, I gotta say it again, he gives the most awesome back rubs, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And then you work. Yeah. You work at Price Chopper. Yeah. Yeah. Two days a week. Part time. Part time. What do you like about working there? Talk to people, push cards, move money. Yeah. And they're really nice to you up there, aren't they? Yeah. Nice yeah. people. Boss is nice. Who's your boss? Roseanne. Jackie. And we have fun when we go shopping, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to more barbecues this this uh, this summer. Yeah. Yeah. Our strawberries just start growing pretty soon. We have we have a strawberry patch right beside our house so we can draw we can grow our own strawberries. And there's people <coughs> around that have um Vegetable gardens and stuff like that, they'll give us some, we'll freeze a bunch of them. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. And you're going to make me pork chops tonight, aren't you? Yeah. Yep. With applesauce? Yeah, we got any applesauce. I think we do. I think we probably do. Anything else you want to tell us? No. The audience? Nothing? Nothing. Nothing at all? No. No. What do you think? What's that? Car went up through. Car went up through. So we like to sit here on days we got nothing to do and listen to um, country classics, right? Country classics music, old singers. Yeah, like Tim, Timmy Wynette and William Jennings and Paul Johnny Wagner. Cash, Paul Wagner, yeah. And Crystal Gale. Crystal Gale, Loretta Gale, Lynn. Lynn, yeah. And then we have our favorite TV shows, American Idol. Yeah. Net the Voice. Fear Nat. Fear Nat. Fear Nat. We only watched that once. <laughs> The dumbest stuff, we like that one. Yeah. Oh, this is the towing and operation repo. Yeah. Yeah. Good show. Yeah. And I like Celebrity Apprentice, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good show, too. Yeah. So in the next coming months, we'll be doing a lot of activities, so uh, we're hoping to be able to bring the camera home and do some more like this, sit-downs, and let you guys get to know a little bit about Lyndon, Ted, and our family here. We got three cats, no children, but we have a lot of fun yeah. playing with the cats and, you know, playing together and loving each other and I don't know what I'd do without him. Right? Hey, right. you're supposed to say you wouldn't know what you'd do without me. I don't know, do what I like. Either. Yeah, he just said that because I told him to. Right. Right? Right. Well, um, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, what? Do it without you. You could? We could do without me? Well, no, what to do with Oh, okay, that sounds better. I was going to say, because you just said you could do without me, so. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm Linda. Ted. Carboneau, coming Carboneau. from our home down South Main Street and White River Junction. I think we filled you in in all our little ventures around here, but we're going to be checking in and tell you a little bit more. Uh, as the summer goes along. Maybe we'll take you for a walk with us. That would be great, wouldn't it? Would you like to come for a walk with Linda and Ted? Or go out and maybe we'll film a little bit of the barbecues we have or whatever. Well, we tend to have some fun. So we're, we're looking forward to it. So um, so keep watching Walk Into That TV Show with Linda Carboneau okay. and Ted Carboneau. And of course, we got to end the show like we always end shows with Linda and Ted. Right? Right. What do I get? <laughs> I always get a kiss on top of the head. <laughs> right? Right. So we bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Bye. See you next time. Bye. Walking through this life of mine, well, it's teaching me so many things, like how to love.
and how to lose and how to choose. Walking through this life.